Well, everyone heard of Cam Hayward when he was a, uh, a young player in high school. Maybe I suppose his junior year we became uh, very aware of him. But, you know, normally it's hard for us to get someone out of Atlanta, Georgia to, to leave the SEC territory. One thing led to another, and Cam was a Buckeye, and we were glad he was. For a Buckeye to grow into a tree, it needs to lay strong roots. Steelers defensive tackle Cameron Hayward's roots were set in Pittsburgh long before he was selected 31st overall in the 2011 NFL Draft by the Steelers. You know, we knew about his family and where he was from, you know, his grandparents being from the Pittsburgh area, his father having played there. We knew a lot about Cameron Hayward. You know, certainly the, the background with Cam and, and his father and everything made him uh, an interesting prospect from the beginning. You know, with Ironhead being his dad, everyone, uh, uh, you know, knew that he was going to be an up-and-comer. And, and uh, we were very, very fortunate that uh, mom and dad and, and grandparents had those Pittsburgh roots. Those roots that were planted in Pittsburgh and extended to Sewanee, Georgia, were grown and nurtured by what matters most to Hayward, family. When you get a chance to really sit down and meet the family, and as mom, you know, is special. I mean, she rules the roost. And uh, we knew that this was a serious young man, that all the glitz and uh, stuff like that wasn't gonna be the thing. It, it was gonna be, you know, who would take care of my son, uh, who would demand a lot of my son, uh, who would help him reach his potential. Uh, and you could just tell, by the way, she ran the household that, uh, uh, they were very serious about good things happening. Hayward was a standout defensive tackle for Peachtree Ridge High School, earning Georgia Class 5A Defensive Player of the Year and quickly following in the footsteps his father had paved more than two decades earlier. He was focused on uh, doing a great job in the classroom, and he was focused on being an extraordinary football player. And all the rest, he wasn't interested in. His motor was always going. In fact, sometimes I used to worry that he went so hard, would he have anything left at the end of the game? Would he have anything left late in the year? But he just had that mindset that you know, his motor was never gonna stop until there were all zeros on the scoreboard and uh, he was a team guy. It wasn't about him having the stats. It wasn't about the defense over the offense or uh, it was about the team. Hayward always had a team-first mentality. Following a standout year that finished with the Buckeyes winning the Rose Bowl, many thought the junior would forego his senior season and declare for the NFL draft. However, he and his mother had other plans. I remember being out on a recruiting trip and my phone rang and it was Cam's mom. And I thought, uh-oh, here it comes. She's going to tell me, you know, he's leaving. And so when I answered the phone, she said, let me tell you one thing right now, Cam's not going anywhere. He's playing his senior year because that's the commitment we made to you. That senior season would further cement Hayward's status as a first round talent and lead to him being one of six Buckeyes, including Ryan Shazier, to be drafted by the Steelers between 2010 and 2015. For whatever reason, we, you know, we've had a, a great track record with Ohio State players down through the years. And and uh, you know, know that school and know that system and, and feel good about guys that have come out of there. You know, from Pittsburgh to Columbus's short trip, they knew that we were trying to build teams the way they build them. They knew that we had expectations for our players like the Steelers have for theirs. At that time, they were playing a very similar defense uh, schematically to what we were doing. He had the size, he had the athleticism, the strength, and he was playing a lot of the techniques he would have been and has been taught here. I have a, a friend who is a big uh, Ohio State fan. Every year I get a call from him uh, about this time telling me who to pick from Ohio State. And so I started getting calls earlier than usual about Cam. Even in the fall, I remember going into Ohio State and coming back and say this guy would be a perfect Pittsburgh Steeler. It was, you know, it was, it was kind of easy to, to get comfortable with taking Cam. Very fitting, you know, the, the tradition of Pittsburgh Steeler excellence and, you know, the, the consistency of greatness in, in a franchise like that. Uh, 
you know, that was a perfect fit. They obviously did their homework.